Welcome to Arizona State University's Global Freshman Academy MAT 117 College Algebra and Problem Solving course. This video will cover the topic multiplying a univariate polynomial by a monomial with a positive coefficient. To use the distributive property to remove parentheses, distribute the term outside the parentheses to each term within the parentheses and then simplify. Let's break it down. Consider the following example. 10a cubed times 5a to the fourth power minus 9. When we have two terms next to each other with no operations shown in between, such as division or addition, we assume they're multiplied. So in this example, 10a cubed is right next to the parentheses with nothing in between, so we can assume that these two expressions are multiplied. The order of operations tells us that we should simplify the expression inside the parentheses before doing multiplication. But since we can't simplify the expression inside the parentheses, we can use distribution instead to rewrite this expression without parentheses. If that idea isn't familiar, review the topic using distribution and combining like terms to simplify univariate. To distribute, we multiply the term outside the parentheses to each term inside of the parentheses, like this. 5a to the fourth times 10a cubed minus 9 times 10a cubed. Now that we've eliminated the parentheses in our expression, the final step is to simplify. We can use the commutative property of multiplication to rewrite this as 5 times 10 times a to the fourth power times a cubed minus 9 times 10 times a cubed, so that our constants and our variables in each term are all grouped together then we can use multiplication and the product rule of positive exponents to simplify this as 50 a to the seventh power minus 90 a cubed. So we found that our original expression 10 times a cubed times the difference of 5 a to the fourth power and 9 equals 50 a to the seventh power minus 90 a cubed. Can we combine like terms since both of these terms have the variable a? It might look like we can combine these terms since they both have the same variable. However, we can only combine terms that are added or subtracted if the variables are all raised to the same exponent. So in this case, the expression is as simplified as it can be. So to use the distributive property to remove parentheses, we distribute the term outside of the parentheses to each term inside the parentheses, then simplify? Right. Let's do one more example. 2x cubed minus 3x to the fifth plus 10, all in parentheses, times 7x to the fourth. How can we simplify this? First, we distribute 7x to the fourth to each term inside of the parentheses. This gives us 2x cubed times 7x to the fourth minus 3x to the fifth times 7x to the fourth plus 10 times 7x to the fourth. Next we simplify each term which gives us 14x to the seventh minus 21x to the ninth plus 70x to the fourth. Since the variables in each term have different exponents we cannot combine like terms so this is our final answer. This answer is correct. Nice job. One other thing to remember is that in some circumstances, we must arrange the terms so that the exponents are in ascending or descending order. Usually descending order is preferred. That means we could consider the final answer to be negative 21x to the ninth plus 14x to the seventh plus 70x to the fourth. Still, your answer is also technically correct. So to use the distributive property to remove parentheses, distribute the term outside the parentheses to each term within the parentheses then simplify. That's exactly right. 